Hey everyone, Asia Masters here, and today we are doing a minifigure pack opening. Today we went and we got six minifigures, and we did feel these out, so we should have a pretty good idea of what we will be getting. So go ahead and guess in the comments what you think we'll get, and let's go ahead and start opening these. The first figure we got here is Kendo Kai, a fairly simple figure. He's basically just the regular Kai, except for he has the Kendo armor on. Although I think the Kendo armor is not that bad since they did do a little bit of recoloring here with that red ring along with the gold sort of frame on the helmet. And he does come with an extra hairpiece, which is pretty good. However, there is no alter in the face, and the printing is exactly the same as his ninja form. Next up is Lloyd, which is a pretty good figure. He has that hood mold, which I like a lot. It looks really good. The only thing I don't like about it is that the uh, hair is a little bit darker since this is entirely just dark green. It's not dual molded, so they just print it over in the light yellow, which is why it looks brown or gray. It's not It's not a misprint, guys. Some people think it's a misprint. It's not. It's it's just it's printed over. He has that nice bowl piece with the dragon design, which looks, looks really good. The printing's okay, there's no back printing, which is kind of interesting since he has back printing in the Ninjago City Chase set, but I guess they needed to kind of compensate to make that new hood mold. Next up is Misako or Coco, depending on whichever one you want to, you want to go with, it, it doesn't really matter to me. She's pretty good, I like her new hairpiece, she looks pretty good, and an uh, interesting new adaption of her with some nice printing and that purse, just an overall solid figure. Next up here we have Cole, which is another really good one. He has an interesting hair piece. He does come with a really cool boombox piece, which is pretty easy to feel out. And he has a little bit of Easter eggs in this figure. He has the ACDC logo and the Ninjagan letters. And on the back it says Sold Out World Tour 1985, which is another little Easter egg to the whole sort of rock revive thing they're going with him. Zane is one of the most interesting figures from the series as he has one of the most weird designs. I like the Alien Conquest sort of easter egg on his shirt which looks pretty nice. His leg printing is good and I like his backpack. And he has some really nice digital style printing for the back of his head for his haircut which is a nice little detail. And of course, there's his smile. And lastly is Spinjitsu Training in Nia, one of the more simpler figures from the series, however I feel a lot of people will end up getting a bunch of these, just so they can have the whole team in the Spinjitsu Training outfit. And the figure itself, of course, you know, it's, it is what it is, it's basically a Spinjitsu Training outfit with Nia's head on top, however it is nice because you get some brown katanas, which I personally do not have, and you're getting a cheap way to get Nia's hairpiece. And those are the six figures we got. These were the six we were expecting to get when we felt out for them, so I guess we did a decent job. Let us know which one is your favorite that we got here in the comment section below. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.